Hello everyone, today I've got Abyssal vacuum cleaner to look at. Abyssal cordless vacuum cleaner. This is the Abyssal Powerglide cordless with lithium iron technology up to 45 minutes runtime with a lift off canister for portable cleaning and powerful performance on carpets and hard floors. Now, this is a little bit different to many cordless cleaners because it's more like a full-sized upright cleaner rather than a cordless stick type cleaner. Okay, without any further ado, let's get this Bissell opened. Okay, let's have a look at this Bissell. Uh, this has been around a while, this particular cleaner, and I saw it on offer and I think it was about £50. So I thought for that money, I would try it out. So we've of course got the user guide. And next out of the box, we have a charging cradle. So that's good. This means that the Bissell has a removable battery that can be charged by placing it inside this cradle here. Just notice one of the feet has come off. Well, two of the feet have come off. Oh, there's the other one, that's good. There's four little feet to uh, stop it slipping on a hard work top. So that's the uh, charger. Next out of the box, oh, we have one of the Cleaning tools, pretty standard crevice slash dusting tool. That, I don't know if that comes right off. Doesn't seem to. So that's the first cleaning tool. Next out is the hose. So yes, although this is an upright configuration, it does have an attached hose for doing your above floor cleaning. Quite a nice design, nice electric blue color, and a nice comfortable looped handle. This handle also, apart from being the hose handle, this forms the handle of the cleaner itself. In here, is the lithium iron battery. And obviously I'm going to have to fully charge this cleaner before first use. It is a 36 volt battery. Next it's the, well, the main body of the cleaner, not the whole cleaner, because we haven't got the cleaner head out yet. So this is the main lift-off canister. Let's rip that. Whoops! And off comes the bagless container. I have a feeling this is similar to the Vax Air Cordless or Hoover Air Cordless in the fact that it does have the motor, the suction motor is located here at the top and not where you'd normally find it at the bottom because the bottom here is empty for the battery. So let's pop that back, click it into place. So that's the main suction unit and bagless compartment. So then we have a little bit of a wand here made of metal and plastic. And last but not least, we've got the floor head for cleaning carpets and hard floors. Not sure if there's any headlights on this one. Doesn't look like it, but it does have a swivel action and mm, softish brushes. They're quite dense though. 
and there's a facility to remove this part here if you need to uh, remove the brush roll oh, on this end comes off as well so the whole brush roll can be removed for cleaning or to check for blockages okay well it's all out of the box it's now time to assemble this Bissell Powerglide cordless now that I've got all the component parts laid out in front of me it's time to assemble this Bissell cordless vacuum cleaner the first thing we need to do is attach the wand to the handle make sure that the release button is uppermost just connect the handle until it clicks into position next we need to take the wand and fit it into the suction unit here just slide it into the hole until it clicks into position we now need to fit the flexible hose to the base unit you'll notice that there's a little notch here that needs to correspond with a cutout here at the back of the hose connector insert the hose until it clicks into place making sure that both tabs at either side are firmly in position then push the hose into the clip at the back of the cleaner the accessory tool fits into the holder next to the hose and finally assemble the suction unit onto the motorized power head until it clicks into position before using the Bissell Powerglide cordless for the first time you must ensure the battery is fully charged and that will take up to two hours. So once you've plugged in the charging cradle into a suitable wall socket you'll see a green light. When you place the battery on the cradle you'll see the green light turning red and when the battery is fully charged the red light will turn green. Now that the battery is fully charged, I need to insert it into the Bissell Power Glide. This is the battery compartment here. To release the cover, we need to push down on this silver catch. And then the battery goes with the Bissell logo uppermost. Just push it in until it's in position. And then you can place the cover back over the battery. Okay, let's give this Bissell Power Glide a first go. Just need to make sure that the dial is pointing to vacuum and not hose because we want to try it out on the carpet. So arrow down for vacuum. To recline the machine, you just put your foot on the motorized head and gently lower the handle. The on off switch is located here. And on the other side, you'll find the boost button and the brush roll on off switch.
I vacuumed this entire bedroom, including using the hose for the nooks and crannies, as you saw. So let's have a look at how much dirt this Bissell has picked up. Now this bedroom, there are dogs living in this house, but they're not allowed upstairs. So only one human being normally walks around this bedroom. So let's see how much dirt it's picked up. And I'm pretty surprised. These carpets, they haven't been vacuumed for about a week, but they don't look dirty. They're very pale colored carpets and you'd think they would show all the dirt, but look, can you see all this? Let's uh, empty the bin by pressing on this button. Oh, I might have to put my hand in. Doesn't want to come out. I don't know where it's got all that from. And I mean, what is that? I mean, this isn't the color of the carpet. There is a, a rug in here, but it's not really that sort of, sort of a blue. Anyway, there's all that, all those fibers, plus some fine dust as well. And I can, it's quite gritty dust too. Well, so far, I'm pretty impressed with this. Let's have a quick look at the filters. Or should I say filter, because I think this Bissell Powerglide cordless only has one filter. So to access the filter, you can see here an arrow and a locked and unlocked padlock. So you just need to turn the arrow to the unlocked padlock and then lift the motor unit away. So as you can see, that is the suction unit for the cleaner. Obviously this does have another motor located in the power head. So this is the only filter, which is of course washable. It says washable filter. Now I've only used it, you know, in one fairly large bedroom. You can see there's a little bit of dirt already on the filter there. All this comes apart for cleaning. You can rinse all of this under running water. You've got a handle. So we can just twist and remove. So this bin, you can rinse all that to make sure it's dry, of course, before putting it back. And I'm not sure if I can rinse this part. You can certainly give it a wipe. There's a seal here, look. It's always important in any bagless vacuum cleaner to keep the seals free of any dust and debris because you want the seals to be doing their job, which is sealing in the dirt and sealing in the suction. I've checked the instruction book and you can separate this cyclone into three parts for easy cleaning. Everything just twists apart. You've got another lock and unlock arrow on the top here. So turn the top to the unlocked position and you can release this part of the cyclone. You can just clean that under running water. And then this middle part here can be cleaned, but you can also separate the clear part. Again, just twist it. So all this can be washed, which I think is a fantastic idea. Okay, folks, well, we've seen how the Bissell performs in a room that hasn't had any extra dirt put down on the carpet. So now we'll do a few extreme tests to see if this Bissell cuts the mustard. First test in the lovely clean bedroom is some of Daisy's hair. I've just ferminated her, bless her, she provides a lot of hair for the demonstrations. So we'll see how this machine copes with the hair. Then I'm going to put down some more general dirt on the carpet. And to finish the demonstrations, we'll pop down to the kitchen and see how well the Bissell Power Glide cleans hard floors.
Well, that was almost effortless. I'm quite surprised how well the Bissell picked all Daisy's hair up, which is now in the dirt bin. I'm gonna have to put my hand in. Look at, look at all that. Very, very good. I can't understand, there are, there are a few negative reviews on this machine saying it doesn't pick up anything. I'm not quite sure how, because, well, so far, it's picked up it's picked up a lot of dirt I couldn't see in the carpet it's obviously picked up all the visible dirt but one thing that could be happening with the people that are leaving negative reviews is it is possible that they're either not switching the brush roll on if they've turned it off or they're using the machine in upright mode but with the dial turned to hose and that would result in very poor pickup but so far, I've been very impressed. Okay, well, I'm just going to put out some general muck all over the carpet, a nice big load of dirt. See how it picks up that. And then finally off down into the kitchen to see if this picks up as well on hard floors as it seems to do on carpets. In one of my recent live streams, I was asked the question, have I ever reviewed a vacuum cleaner that turned out to be far better or far worse than I was expecting? And I don't think I could come up with an answer. But today, I can. I'm going to say that the Bissell Powerglide Cordless has far exceeded my expectations. Now, I've looked at all the reviews on Amazon. It's quite a mixed bag, some good, some bad, some saying, don't touch it with a 10 foot pole. It's the worst vacuum cleaner I've ever owned, etc., etc. But when this was reduced to around 50 pounds, I thought I'm going to give it a go and see what I think. And so far, I'm mightily impressed with this. In fact, before I put this video up, I might buy myself another one because it's picked everything up. I'm going to test it on the hard floor, of course, in a minute, but I can't see it performing very poorly on hard floors. So I'm a bit disappointed I can't buy this cleaner anymore and it's not a new upgraded version because I certainly, at the moment, it's one I would recommend. Anyway, I've uh, almost got up to the maximum fill line, not quite nearly. This is very heavy now. Let's uh, empty all the dirt, see what this has picked up. Look at that, folks. All that dirt with power to spare. I mean, there's plenty of life left in that battery. There's even, I don't remember putting down that actually. It's found more fibrous dirt. Obviously the bulk of this is lentils, uh, rolled oats, and there's some uh, blue sand and glitter as well. That, <laughs> that is pretty impressive, you have to admit, for a cordless vacuum cleaner.
For my final demonstration, I've made a mess on the kitchen floor to see if the Bissell Powerglide Cordless can clean it all up. Now the default setting for the Bissell is high power and that's the setting I've been using throughout the video. But for this demonstration, I'm going to see how it copes on its lower power setting. I'm also going to deactivate the brush roll for hard floors. If it doesn't pick up very much on low setting, I will have to go back to high setting, but I'm still going to use the hard floor setting, i.e. the brushes stationary. Okay, let's get this mess cleaned up. Well, as you can see, the Bissell Powerglide cordless isn't very effective when using the low power setting and deactivating the brush roll. So for the next demonstration, I'm going to try this path again, this time using the higher suction setting, but still with the brush roll turned off. Well, as you can see, it's done slightly better with the higher suction, but I think the Bissell does need the brush roll activated to get effective cleaning. So I'm going to finish the job on the default setting, which is the brush roll on and the cleaner in high suction mode. Well, that's about the end of my video on this Bissell Powerglide Cordless Upright Vacuum Cleaner. As you saw, it performed very well, especially on carpets, and it even dealt with pet hairs in just a couple of sweeps. Not so effective on a hard floor, although I did put down an excessive amount of dirt. So in day-to-day -day use, cleaning up just general everyday dirt, I don't think you'll have a problem with this machine. If you want to check it out on Amazon, I'll put a link below, but please bear in mind that when you click on that link, the picture you'll get is of a Bissell Crosswave pictured with a Bissell Carpet Sweeper. So if you scroll down, you will see that this is the actual item, and if you order it, this is the item you'll get. At the time of making the video, it's £92. I got mine for just over £52. So my suggestion to you, if you're interested in this and you don't want to pay £92 for it, Put it in your Amazon basket and then wait. Check your Amazon basket once or twice a day and you'll see the price of this fluctuate. When it comes down to a level you want to buy, then buy one because if you can get this for 50 odd pounds, even 60, 70, I think it's well worth going for. The suction through the hose is mediocre, but I found it more than adequate for the nooks and crannies and lightweight dusting jobs. It's a shame it doesn't come supplied with an upholstery nozzle because the only nozzle you have is the combined crevice and dusting tool.
It is possible to use the cleaner in upright mode to vacuum carpeted stairs, although it is rather awkward when used this way. You can of course use the lift off canister and hose, although without a dedicated stair nozzle, cleaning is rather a slow process. If you have any comments or questions about this Bissell Powerglide cordless, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified of all my new uploads. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.